Biochemistry is the subject that is most neglected by the students in first year MBBS because almost everyone thinks it is too dry, too volatile and boring. So here I am to change your opinion about the subject and make you feel confident about it. Hi everyone, this is Pratiksha Paul, a second year MBBS student at GMC Sundargarh. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button that will make up for all the time and effort I put into these videos. And also if you are new here, I had already made uh, videos about physiology and anatomy so do check them out. So let's get into today's topic that is everything you need to know about biochemistry. Biochemistry is a very dry and boring subject so most of the students tend to ignore it as compared to physiology and anatomy and they do not enjoy reading it. So what should be your resources? For books there are Lippincott and Harper as foreign author books and Vasudevan and Satyanarayan as Indian author books. Among which I choose Vasudevan because everything is given in a well explained manner and in easy to understand language and covering all the clinical scenario which will be very very beneficial in your exams. For video lectures I followed Dr. Rajesh Chambulkar sir's lectures on YouTube which are really helpful in understanding the concepts. He also provides his own handwritten notes you can follow them without making your own notes. Now you have the resources, but how to use it? So let's divide the entire syllabus into two parts that is paper one and paper two. So your paper one consists of general biochemistry, clinical and applied biochemistry and nutrition. And paper two consists of general metabolism, molecular biology and advanced biochemistry. According to me, paper one is easy to understand and less lengthy. And you have studied those topics before, so they are not new to you. But paper 2 is more conceptual, vast and difficult to understand. So let's make it a little easy for you. The high yield topics from paper 1 are enzymes, acid waste balance, vitamins and minerals. From paper 2 the high yield topics are all metabolism, two tests that is the liver function test and renal function test and replication, translation, transcription and the recombinant DNA technology part of the molecular biology. Now if you are thinking about what the rest of the topics are, you will leave them in the exam. So, it's not. You to give them more time to the high yield topics and to give them more time to study. For all other rest topics, you can follow your PYQ list and mark the repeatedly asked questions and prepare accordingly. The major portion of biochemistry in paper 2 is general metabolism and this is most feared by the students because they cannot remember it and ended up ignoring it. So what should be your approach towards metabolism? So I would suggest you to watch a lecture first like watch Dr. Rajesh Chambulkar sir's lecture understand the topic, understand the cycle, its enzymes, its cofactors and the diseases associated with its deficiency. Now you have a rough idea on the topic. Now you read a textbook and uh, in order to remember it, take a notebook and start writing the cycles. After writing it once, close your books and uh, try to write it without seeing it. It is very natural that you will forget some steps, some enzymes here and there but after repeating this process for two to three times, you will eventually get them right. Remember the rate limiting enzymes, the cofactors of the enzyme and the diseases associated with the enzyme deficiency because these will be the clue to solve your clinical scenario questions. And revise these cycles in a particular time gap like in 7 days or 15 days to master the topics in long run. Now in biochemistry there are a lot of values to remember like the RDS of vitamins and minerals, the normal serum enzyme levels and blood glucose levels etc. So whenever you are reading something like this, write them in a separate notebook that will help you revise them faster in the last minute of exam. And this will be also given uh, in your clinical questions as a clue to diagnose the disease. So it will be very much helpful to you. As most of us ignored biochemistry the whole year, one or two months before the exam, we are in a hurry to uh, complete the syllabus and we do not emphasize on revising the chapters. But the problem is in biochemistry without proper revision, you cannot write any question answer properly and you will eventually lose, lose your confidence in exam. So take out a few minutes every day to revise what you have studied.
the practical part of biochemistry contains some qualitative and quantitative analysis which is somewhat integrated with the theory part also so read the theory portion as well to answer well in your practical viva now coming to the paper presentation as you draw diagrams in anatomy draw flow charts and cycles in biochemistry and you don't have to write pages if you draw the cycle perfectly the minor mistake you may have made in the text is not even noticed by the examiner and whenever there is a clinical correlation to that topic always mention it in your answer and as i have said in my previous videos also please underline and highlight the important lines that are present in your answer to get good marks okay so these are all the tips that help me scoring a distinction in biochemistry and i hope it will help you too thank you so much for watching see you in the next one